In this video, I'm gonna show you a brand new way that I like to run the stick concept. I think you're gonna have a lot of success with this, especially running this from a three wide receiver uh, set. You're gonna find that this works really well. You can even do it from two wide receivers, it doesn't matter. This is just a new way that I think stick uh, can become even better. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden players they could possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. All right, guys, so this is a way that you can run the play stick. And I want to show you the route real quick, and then we'll get into the um, the route combinations. Now, real quick, if you have not already picked up my route concept encyclopedia, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of the video. And the reason that I'm going to do that is because what it is, is it's basically a brain dump, a brain vault, a encyclopedia glossary, a resource that you can use um, to learn different route combinations and how they work. So we go over two wide receiver spread concepts. We go over a uh, bunch, three wide receiver bunch concepts. We go over one wide receiver and one running back concepts. Concepts that you can apply to any formation with any personnel, with any um, abilities. Very effective. We show you how to, how to use two wide receivers or four wide receivers on a concept to make it absolutely lethal. So if you want to get access to my route concept encyclopedia, I have left a link to that in the description of this video. And it's just 15 bucks, it's a one-time purchase, and we're gonna to continue to update that over the coming years uh, of Madden. So, okay, let's jump into um, this stick concept. And, and really what I'm gonna do for this is I'm just gonna to try to go into concept, uh, and I wanna show you this quick pass, it's called stick, it's one of my favorite plays. Um, what you'll notice is, really the specialty is it's an option route. Against man, it's an outcut, and against zone, it's like an out and hitch uh, type of play. And I really want to run this from uh, three wide receiver set, like a trip trips trips alignment. I think is the best way to do it. Um, so let's run this out of the play empty tray stack. You see here, I have the Y stick. So we're going to run it out of this out of this formation. All right. So empty tray stack Y stick. And if you look, here's the first tip. You want to run stick, run it to the short side of the field. Okay. You want to run stick, run it to the short side of the field, and the reason why is because of where the hitch route is going to get to on the field. You'll notice here that the um, hitch route, if you run it to the wide side of the field, when I snap this ball, he's going to be at the numbers, um, or just outside the numbers, right in there. That's where we want him to go, just outside the numbers. That's the first secret tip to running an effective stick concept. So, for example, if I was running the same concept on the back side, I would want to make sure my hitch is on the outside of the numbers. So what if I was, I, and I'll show you in a second how I can run this from two wide receivers or three wide receivers. But basically the first rule is you actually want to run stick to the short side of the field. In the real NFL, that's not exactly the case, but in this game, that's how you want to run it, okay? So that's step one, run it to the short side of the field. Step two, you're going to put the R1 receiver on a flat, just like that. And then on this back side, I personally like to, um, you know, do whatever, you know, we could do a smash concept, something else. We don't need to run the, the little whatever they had on the play. You could also run a post flat or slant or whatever. It doesn't really matter. I just wanted you to show the three wide receivers. So that's kind of step one. And then the second hot route we're going to make is we're going to take the circle receiver and we're going to put him on a curl route. And what you're going to see is this X is now going to become absolutely wide open every single time. The X will never get covered by any any adjustment that the defense can make. They will not cover that receiver. Um, even if, and I'll show you, they put Cockrell here on a vertical hook. So let me show you this again. And again, we're gonna do this. And I just want you to watch this vertical hook. Watch it suck inside. See how it sucks inside like that. Howard got too deep there. And if you, real quick, if you don't, if you don't want to use the curl route, I'm going to show you two other routes you can use. The first one is a smart route of out route. So let me put, let me put that vertical hook out there. See how he pulls him. See how the zone is pulling him inside the numbers. That is such a critical point. Um, so what I'm going to do is smart route of out route here. Now watch the vertical hook. Pulls inside real easy. The stick route gets wide open on the side. Okay. So exactly what we want to have happen. Now, uh, now I want to show you the other other kind of pool route that you can use. 
and that is a uh, comeback route. So if I want to use a comeback route, I want you to watch how this works. Snap the ball, go, and watch how that comeback route really pulls, and you can sit that down for about five to 10 yards every time. Now I want to show you the concept to the other side of the field. So you could actually run this with just two receivers. You don't need three. Um, but again, really important point, it's always to the short side of the field. Always to the short side of the field. Okay. So if I only have um, if I only have two receivers, now I only have two routes that I can, I only really have one concept. So I'm gonna put Evans on a cur or a, uh, a hitch, and then I'm gonna put Godwin on a out route and smart route it, and I'm gonna motion that out route out to the outside. Now watch what happens. You see all the zones gets pulled away, and as you can see, because we put that because that hitch is outside the numbers. The vertical hook, which is the most outside breaking yellow zone, will never, ever, ever be able to take this in man or take this in zone coverage. He'll never be able to get out there because of what we've discussed in our zone encyclopedia, our defense encyclopedia, which you can get in the description as well. So now you see you can create this look right here. These these two routes together are impossible to stop from Mabel coverage. Mabel coverage cannot stop them. You're either going to get the hitch nine times out of ten, nine, 99 percent of the time. The hitch is going to be the open receiver. Um, and then what they might do from time to time, this is just rare that they'll do this, is they might actually man up the hitch. And if they do that, um, then what that means is they basically left the out route in, you know, vulnerable. So OP goes there. So now I can throw to the out. Of course, you know, to say that I Jamel Dean jumps it because he's a boss. But anyway, let me show you it again. I'm going to show that it. It does beat it. If you if if you have any problem with this out, especially from this tray stack type formation, just snap it before he sets his feet, and now you'll see the corner will never play it, and you still have a really good zone beater. So this is a real simple way to run stick. Um, if you get man to man, the one problem with the second um, example is the the hitch does not necessarily beat press man. Um, it actually does in this example. It doesn't always though. Um, you know, so what you can do is if you're getting like shaded inside and underneath man to man is you just leave these two receivers stacked. And what you'll see here is if they try to press you out of this, um, the square receiver should get kind of an outside release and you're able to throw that out route really easy against man to man. You're still going to have, like if you guess wrong and that happens to be zone coverage, let me just show you. Um, you'll still have everything you need. You'll still be able to hit your hitch, just like that, for five yards every time. So that's the stick route. Um, a little bit different than what it's been in the past. Um, if you wanted to run it another little, just another little way that you can kind of do this, especially if you wanted to run it more to the three wide side, another easy way to run it is, it's more of a vertical uh, threat but basically what you're going to do is you're going to smart route the out route to Gronkowski. And then that's you're going to leave your fade. So you get like that concept right there. And if you watch, you'll see him, that out route will pull everybody out of the way. And now I've got X, as long as he catches the ball, wide open against that. Again, I can't stress the importance of running this concept to the short side of the field. If you run this concept to the wide side of the field, even if you're in three wide receivers... Um, you're going to see that Howard will actually stop his route inside the numbers, which is the cardinal sin of this route. You need it outside the numbers for it to be successful. So you'll see right here, watch where he stops. And now look, the vertical hook can get out there on him and he doesn't play it. But if that's Mutt and that's a linebacker that has, you know, lurker on him or something, that could be an interception. So that's just something, you know, you, you use it as your own, at your own risk um, to the short side, in my opinion. Uh, I would never, ever, ever recommend anyone run stick to the wide side of the field because that vertical hook can cover it way too easily, okay? Now, if they're in anything other than a vertical hook, it's going to be open. Uh, but, and stick was really originally designed to be a quick pass, uh, something that beat the blitz. So if, the, if you do get blitzed out of this, um, you'll see that this is a good blitz beater. I mean, they're, they're, you know, no questions asked. This is a really good blitz beater. That little stick route right there um, kills pressure. And the reason I like the stick route, the stock one um, that you're going to get, is because let's say you get man-to-man -man coverage. Well, you get man-to-man -man coverage. Now one of your out routes will get open every time. 
one of your out routes will get open every time. So this is a way that you can kind of manipulate stick to make it a little bit more effective in Madden and, and really take advantage of the grid theory that really um, makes zones work the way they work. So if you want to learn more about route concepts and how zones work and react to route concepts and learn concepts that you can apply to any formation, um, grab the route concept encyclopedia down in the description. It's a one-time purchase and we're going to continue to upgrade it every single year with new routes and new theories um, that will be effective. Thanks for your time.